Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Blood? For some kind of magic, I bet. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. The gates of mystery between worlds? The library of an occultist. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Hmm, a tome about parleying with demons. Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, then I can set out the candles. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and- Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! 
servants. Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places. The same as then. Clay ball. You do the rest. Small ball. For soup, maybe? Claw scratches. match. Think this was yours. There we go. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. My dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy forehead grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health and remember but the good times, Olgierd.
You under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. I've come for the violet rose Olgird gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber, at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look. You buried my body, and the flowers bloomed once more. And I... I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the painting on my grave, I remembered the day of my marriage. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Shouldn't worry about him at all. He's no longer the man you loved. So his heart remains hardened. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? 
the last I have left of him. His last gift. the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. <laughs>